let's see. We're continuing on. It's getting strenuous over here. Lots of work they're putting me through. Looking for spokester for youngfreeindiana.com. I believe, and I am kind of losing track, this is interviewee number seven here. Number seven. And this is Jeremy or your alter ego. Uh, J-Mo works. You can call me J-Mo. I can call you J-Mo? All right. Awesome, J-Mo. What's going on? How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, this is intense. I feel like I'm going through the grind right now, but I think I'm going to pull through. I think I'm going to make it. Did you get some pizza? Uh, I had some breakfast before I came. I got some halls. It was pretty delicious. It was like the garbage. So it was everything together. Well, I think that they really wanted to know what kind of pizza you chose. Oh. So he would have chosen Supreme just so we know we got that, you know, on the table. (laughs) Now, JMO, what's your background? Uh, well, I'm originally from Bloomington, Indiana, and I started down at IU, and then I moved up here to work with a friend of mine, actually a guy who used to be my youth pastor. I came up here to work with him at Blackhawk because um, he was working with the youth up here, and so I came up and was just like, yeah, let's let's do this. I'll, I'll work with you. This would be an awesome opportunity, and then while I was up here, I decided to finish up at school, so I finished right here at IPFW, and... Uh, changed my major a couple times because I've got a lot of different interests, uh, but I think I finally found the things that I like. I have four minors, and just the different areas that were always kind of caught my eye. And I know that in the future I want to do grad school, and I think probably at this point it's going to be some communication, just because uh, everything that I've done, whether it's in the ministry or whether it's uh, I was a part-time DJ at a radio station, and I think that I've just always enjoyed being in front of audiences, being in front of people, and um, using my communicating people skills to just kind of find my way so well what characteristics make you the perfect fit for the spokester position well I think that I'm an outgoing individual and I think a lot of people are we've got a lot of people here that are really open really eager to meet new people I think one of the things that I I know about myself that's always been the case I love taking on new challenges I love learning new things learning new tasks and I've never been afraid to just kind of get up and go. When I moved up to Fort Wayne, it was one of those things where I put literally just all my clothes in my car. I had all my folded clothes in the trunk, and then I hung up a, a shower curtain rod in between the little hooks in my back seat, and I put all my hang-up clothes on there. And I moved up here kind of like just within less than six months' time, And I knew the guy that I was going to live with. And then within two months, I kind of got myself established, got my own apartment and all all that. But I've never been afraid to just kind of jump in and go and say, look, you know, this is this is the challenge. This is what you're asking me to do. This is what's in front of me. Let's let's go out of full force and kind of don't pull any punches. So I think that's probably uh, the thing that makes me most uh, suited for this job. And it sounds like you have some education or background in communicating, so you're good with people and whatnot. Now, let's talk about your age, your demographic, and financially. What mistakes have you seen people in the Gen Y demographic make? Or maybe something that you've made yourself? Right. Well, I think that looking back, one of the the things, I don't think it's necessarily a mistake. I just, it's kind of a flaw of the system is if you take a break between high school and college, it's so hard to get back into financial aid and to get scholarships because they really want to kind of push, you know, like go from high school to college. And I think that, like for me, that's definitely something that I lost out on because I had um, I had a, some good grants and scholarships that then when I took a year off in my time coming up to Fort Wayne, just kind of lost those. So that was definitely a drawback. But I think that also it's just um, spending outside of, your income. One of the things that I've seen people make a mistake is the the credit card mistake. The oh, ten thousand dollars of free money. Um, I was just telling a friend of mine last night how there's someone I know down in Bloomington who somehow got approved for a ten thousand dollar credit line and maxed it out her freshman year of college. And you know, it's like now it's paying off that debt, and that's just a really bad place. All right, well, we're kind of running out of time a little bit here. So okay. what I'm going to do with the last couple minutes is I'm actually going to hand the microphone over to you okay. and let you talk so to me. supposed to be taking that the whole time? No, okay. no, I, I just, you did perfect. Okay. But now you do get the microphone. Okay. So you can ask me whatever you want. Oh, super. It doesn't, there is no right or wrong. Okay. 
All right, Sarah, well, you are a DJ at Wild 96.3, is that correct? Yep, it sure is. Okay, well, so my question for you is how did you get into that? Why did you decide communication, or does this kind of something that just kind of fell into your lap? Well, you know, it's funny because I, like so many people graduating high school, you know, and thinking about what do I want to do with my whole life? That is such a crazy decision, you know? And I was like, well, I want to join the Peace Corps. And mom and dad were like, no, you need to go to school first. And I'm like, all right, fine. And I was kind of scared of big bugs, so I was thinking, you know, maybe I shouldn't just get, you know, before. Like, I should make a more informed decision before just going somewhere. So I was like, well, I'll go to IPFW here. And I really just kind of started with general coursework. And what I learned very early on was that math was getting tough, you know. I had had my fun with trigonometry and pre-calc and Man, like biology, that stuff in college is hard too. And let's see, English, yeah, I'm not really that good at writing now that I think about it. The only thing I could do was get up in front of people and talk. And it really kind of fell into my lap that communications was where I was supposed to be. And from there on out, you know, the radio thing was just the next step in that. Well, communication is really just a fancy word for spitballing. So, like, you're just really good at spitballing, like, just talking off the top of your brain. I tell people that I actually major in majored in BS, you know. <laughs> well, is, it, is it a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Art? Well, uh, yeah, it's a Bachelor of Arts. That's disappointing. It should have been Bachelor of Science. But that's that's a whole other story, and we won't get into what that stands for <laughs> or anything like that. 